Greetings. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? doing? Uh, um, okay, so sorry about the, uh, the the thing. I had to actually download. I took I took go into Skype because I it deleted it from my mm. <laughs> and Zoom was your Zoom link was not working. So sorry about that. Uh, it's technology, yeah. Of course, you yeah, know how's you... how's it like, yeah. <laughs> so, I, so I read through the Good Party um, slides. Uh, that is your website. Um, it's, all right, yeah, it's, it's, it's a Google uh, slide show right now. Sure, sure, uh, but pretty cool yeah. ideas. Yeah. Um, so, uh, 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 can I? Uh, yeah, so um, yeah, I was going to walk you through and then maybe show you the interface that I'm uh, uh, building for the app mm -hmm. itself. So, um, but uh, yeah, what, uh, I guess um, uh, uh, any thoughts about it uh, 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 overall? Because uh, sometimes I, I, I walk, uh, the slides don't maybe do all mm -hmm. the, get, get all the color uh, mm -hmm. through it. Essentially, I mean, you know, the idea is to bring about a third a political party. Uh, that isn't like any of the parties that we have here in the U.S. Uh, um, and uh, I see uh, um, um, you know, this idea of no wasted votes uh, um, is very important uh, so that you don't get in the lesser of two evil type of a situation with the two existing parties. And we have a mechanism that I can show you, but it's basically a Kickstarter type uh, interface mm -hmm. for every mm -hmm. yeah. um, district uh, where everyone is kind of pledging to the good party mm -hmm. if everybody else can we can get enough cons mm -hmm. if, uh, enough consensus to win, um, and then the idea of sneaking up on the system and exploding, kind of how uh, Donald Trump uh, uh, took mm -hmm. over the, the the red party here, uh, um, uh, whereas Bernie couldn't do it on the blue side, uh, mm -hmm. and that uh, the system could uh, could not uh, could not resist uh, the the, uh, 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 the the populist kind of uprising of, of Trump. So the, the the that that piece of the puzzle. Um, well, you know, I, I hope to effectuate uh, through the write-in vote, and I don't mm -hmm. know if that I, I don't make it very clear on the uh, um, mm -hmm. uh, presentation, but the write-in vote uh, um, uh, is is a mechanism that basically is still in effect in 42 of the 50 states in the United States. Mm -hmm. So it means that if you don't like the votes uh, for either either of the uh, candidates that uh, or any of the candidates, you could write in your own vote. Right now, it's really being used mostly as a um, you know, Donald Duck, Daffy Duck, you know, kind of like, you know, a, a joke, uh, um, mostly. But I think uh, by, by having the consensus being built behind the scenes, uh, um, it could be a very spectacular way to to win uh, um, an election here. And the spectacularness of it brings about uh, um, uh, media attention, the media attention, and the, hopefully not just one place, but maybe four or five, you know, I'm saying 1% by 2020. So if we can get that type of a, um, uh, a thing, suddenly you have one de delegate in, you know, Delaware and one delegate in uh, uh, representative in Kansas and one in, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, Alabama. These are going to be very ordinary people. Uh, um, they're, but they're going to be uh, um, very different from each other and very similar in the technique in the sense that they're going to be looking at the will of the people for their um, their their positions and the next steps that they take. Um, uh, do you? Do, I wonder if uh, can I can I? I wonder if I can screencast something here. Yeah, and, certainly, and certainly. Um, Let me see if this. Yeah, there's a there's a plus, uh, and then oh, yeah, 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 and it yeah. says screen share. Audio video settings. I'm, I'm using the one in the browser right now. So ah, okay. My, I've never used one. I, I deleted Skype off of my system. Here. Sure. I, I mean, I mean, I can I can start a, a Zoom conversation and paste you. Well, would, you see, would would it be possible for you to? Click into my Zoom or that. Yeah, of course. Report. Yeah, that, that that works too. I think. So yeah, I sent you an email. Zoom. Uh, the dot org will bring you into my Zoom. So let's let's switch over to Zoom. Zoom. dot good party. The good party. Okay. Zoom. dot the good party. It's very org. interesting. Um. Yeah. Let me just make sure that it actually works before um disconnecting. Yeah, sure. Hello. <laughs> okay, it's recording to the cloud. Are we good? Awesome. Did somebody else just join us? No, not at all. Not at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So, and you're seeing my desktop here? Okay, yeah. So let me just make sure that I covered everything that I uh, wanted to cover here. The founding assumptions are relatively straightforward. Uh, um, uh, the uh, full transparency piece is a piece that needs a little bit of technology here, but I, I'm curious to see how you're doing it there. But I believe that uh, uh, this will be both uh, uh, obviously 
useful, but for the first wave of people who go in there, it will also be incredibly um, interesting information to be transmitting out of the, uh, the, 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 the halls of the US Congress. So in these, when these freshman type uh, candidates with no uh, agenda are kind of broadcasting back exactly what's happening, um, I think it'll be very uh, uh, exciting for, for people to see that and you can, and, and the outreach. Are you seeing it a little bit with actually the candidate uh, Cortez uh, right now, where she's saying like, you know, things and, uh, uh, you know, uh, so it's okay to just bribe people and, uh, and, and people are like, wow, that's amazing, you know, so I think we have that opportunity there too. Um, let me, uh, let me see, what's going on here? Grant access to opportunity. Mm. First time I've seen this, but anyway. I would like to control my computer. A computer, sure, why not? What could go wrong? Could possibly go wrong. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> no, it's fine. Allow or deny. Okay, so let me see if I can, I can do this screencast this thing. Sure. Okay, so. Right. Oh, by the way, my, my background, I don't know if you had a chance to... Uh, um, yeah, uh, I, I've, I've read about, yeah, you're looking oh, for following. Yeah. I've, I've done a few uh, things in uh, ratings, a few things in... Uh, uh, Flipagram mm -hmm. was pretty successful, actually. It, it, uh, very successful, but in the, in the wrong way, it kind of ran out of my hands. Now TikTok, uh, in mm -hmm. yeah. the world, I like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, you know, it, it's, it's unfortunately how capitalism takes it, mm -hmm. right? yeah, and does uh, weird stuff with it. Uh, let me let me well in in taipei city council um the taipei city people just elected one of the most popular vloggers into the city council so there's some good in vlogs as well um and oh really uh, yeah, he, he actually, uh, before the campaign, went to the uh, house registration office and changed his name to counselor uh, and uh, started a kickoff progress bar, uh, Kickstarter kind of thing, to make sure that there's sufficient amount of votes and lo and behold, he's voted in and it's been live streaming, uh, like everything. So awesome. there's some, yeah, how, there's some, how, how's that working out? Is it? Yeah, the, yeah his handle is uh, froggy, so easy to remember, but now counselor. <laughs> <Awesome. laughs> Yeah, good. So uh, some good came of it. Yeah, my 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 innovation there or help there was I negotiated all the music rights, you know, mm -hmm. um, yeah. the companies. Mm -hmm. So it would it it, it help with that. Okay, so here we go with a good party. I'll just walk you through the app and then we can we can sure. discuss with it. So that um um you know, that imagine we yeah, your vote could be guaranteed to elect because one of us allowing to represent us with full transparency. Hopefully, a lot of people will fight like that and say not no thanks, but yes, show me how. We figure out where they are. Uh, um, and once we know where they are, uh, this district, is this your district? Are you registered to vote? If you're not, it registers you to vote. If you are, it goes in here. Here you have your little uh, dashboard where it shows you how many people have pledged uh, for the good party and uh, how many votes are needed to win the district. Um, on this uh, left side, this was where Glenn uh, uh, and I discussed sort of the quadratic voting stuff, but really it's sort of what are the issues that are important to you and the, uh, the representative will be, will be paying attention to these. There's a, a variety of mechanisms that, that I have in, in mind, uh, um, but, but a little more too deep, too much detail maybe for this, this short conversation, but uh, how to get the will of the people in a, in a, in a less tamperable way. Uh, initially, of course, it's gonna be all centralized and, and you know, hopefully I'm not corrupt and we're not tampering with it, but very soon thereafter it has to be decentralized and, and sent out, that's where it um, um, uh, 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 can be done. And then here you just take the good party pledge. Once you pledge, uh, it's, it goes into a social media thing to share to other people. And so the idea here is that either, uh, um, you know, as the election is coming close, you have enough votes or you don't. If you don't, you kind of, uh, actually there was a new idea somebody gave that you match them with the closest the red or blue that matches mm -hmm, with, mm -hmm. with what the will of the people yep. are. Yep. Um, but, but essentially you don't waste their vote. Otherwise, when you, if, if it goes over here now, what happens is you, you actually um, uh, go into what, what I call primary mode. Primary mode, you now say, okay, you make them, you know, confirm their pledge again, because, you know, you want to make sure that they're going to go through and say, we're going to change the face of democracy if you can uh, agree to write in uh, uh, this, this vote for the candidate, and we're going to now find a candidate because it's worth, mm -hmm. you know, we know we're going to win. We, now one of us is going to lead us for this term. And so you have a nice funnel, random, random selection. Uh, you could initially put some handpicked people in as well, but uh, essentially it should be a random selection uh, of people who are called into office 
uh, not people who are nominating necessarily themselves. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, so you, you put them through a, a, a funnel that says, you know, you, would you be like to be considered as a candidate? You know, so okay, to, to tell me more, what does that mean? At any point, uh, you know, as they're going through this funnel, which becomes, it's, it's a little arduous to go through it all, um, they can opt out. They can say, you know, this is not for me. Um, if they opt out, you pick another person. You know, we'll have like 290,000 people, you know, to choose from. So it's not that complicated. And you're going to do this once in your lifetime because we're looking for uh, sort of power sharing. We're not looking for career politicians here. So, uh, um, you know, you put them through a, a sequence of things. Are you qualified, you know, are you, are you, you know, legally qualified, you know, citizen, whatever the requirements are. Are you, you know, uh, willing to be transparent? Uh, you know, uh, are you, are you willing not to accept any lobby gifts? Are you, uh, are you articulate, uh, you know, can you write, you know, uh, your, your ideas of why you would be a good candidate? So can you write well? Can you present yourself visually uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, you know, uh, um, coherently in a, in a, in a in opposition, et cetera, and all the way down, would you be open to showing your finances uh, uh, to everybody, uh, et cetera? Um, and at the end of it, what I'm hoping is all we need is a credible uh, and capable person, you know, a good person, simple, you know, I, I think there are lots of people who will be, will be that uh, initially, you know, I think power corrupts, but it doesn't corrupt instantly. It kind of takes some time to, to get there. So it's kind of like a jury system. You, you, you take somebody off the street, qualify them in some ways, and then they, they, they serve uh, for a term, you know, to, uh, and, the, and their only job is really to, to, to work the will of the people. So uh, um, to enact the will of the people as best of their position. So one of the questions you have to ask, of course, is on all these hot button issues, can you uh, uh, agree uh, to you know, vote against your position if it's the will of the people, you know, and uh, and and so 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 that's that. So um, that's essentially sort of the the core of it. And then what will hopefully happen, you know, the idea here for us is is you know if the, if the goal is one percent by by uh, by by um, think if you if you think about the dynamics of how these elections are happening, red and blue are going to be dominating the news cycle and everything else, and suddenly. We, cut, we take the color white. Uh, uh, white, because it's red, white, and blue in the United States. The Green Party has no shot. I'm Iranian, they have a shot in Iran. They don't have a shot in America, because it's not on the flag, you know? Um, but you take the, the, the uh, uh, red and blue are dominating the news cycle, and now suddenly a write-in vote, hopefully in five different districts, wins at the same time. This is a media event. Uh, um, and uh, I'm fortunate in the sense that I have a really great filmmaker, this girl, uh, Jahan Nujem, who um, um, created a, a, an Oscar-nominated documentary a couple of years ago called The Square. Um, and she's been wanting to do a good party doc, uh, but uh, I'm, I haven't been interested in the doc because I didn't know what the purpose it would be. Like, uh, uh, but it came to me that we can, a, a documentary that shows the honest struggle of, of the people setting the, the documentary up uh, uh, the, 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 the application up as, a, as an animation, so there's no personalities involved here. Um, um, and then the five candidates who emerge out of nowhere and, and are now preparing to go to Congress will make a very, a very interesting, I think, uh, a study in a new way of doing things. And, and I think that if it can kind of culminate uh, with the, the, the marketing kicks in when the, when the wins happen and these, these people who are ordinary people are now suddenly uh, presented to, to, the, to, the, to the population through something like Netflix, which is incredibly good at uh, distributing this stuff to, to a wide, wide audience. I think you have an uh, ability to hopefully go 1%, 10%, you know, and, and, uh, in, in, in two election cycles and really uh, do something uh, um, interesting, you know? So that's, that's sort of it in a, in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. what do you think? Yeah. All right, so um, thank you for the very clear um, presentation. Uh, this um, thought, uh, line of thought has been practiced um, many places in Europe and I'm happy to see a uh, kind of counterparty in the US. Um, in Iceland, it was called the, the best party. So you're more humble, I guess. Um, <laughs> and there's I like, the, like a good party, you know, everybody likes a good party. And that's the best, right. That's too, best is too overachieving for the for, for America. Good is good enough. 
That's right, that's right. Uh, and in, in Taiwan, this kind of citizen-led um, forces uh, are also called the, the white forces, uh, so the same color. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I'm very familiar with, with the, the idea. Now, um, a, a, few, a few questions uh, around that app. Um, so it, it's all right in uh, at the first stage, so you don't actually have a political party, right? What do you mean by that? No, you have, yeah, you still register your political party. The good party already is registered, has been since 2013, it's been registered mm -hmm. in California as an example. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but um, you don't field candidates unless you're going to win. Yeah, so, so there's different registration rules. I, I have actually uh, um, uh, um, a, 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 an intern who's kind of a, a, a putting together the exact rules. Essentially, there's 10 states in America where you can just walk in the last day with no registration and mm -hmm. write it. So those are really nice candidates for the sure. first mm -hmm. prize. Mm -hmm. There are 32 uh, other states, uh, California being one of them, where there are various types of uh, um, constraints. Uh, usually right. it's mm -hmm. about registration. You have to yep. register the name with the election commission about yep. uh, one month or so before the election. Uh, that's so, right. so, so that's, but that's not a very hard hurdle. California is a little bit worse. In 2009, California eliminated the, uh, um, the, the write-in vote on, on the election, you can only have it in the, in the first primary. So uh, um, it's not a good candidate, unfortunately, mm -hmm. California for, for uh, um, uh, uh, doing this uh, uh, as, as one of the first states, although it could, it could by winning the, the actually, it's actually pretty easy to, to go into some districts in California where there's a very dominant uh, um, player, uh, like the one that I, I described to you, District 13, it only would take 24,000 votes to actually be the second place uh, uh, position in, in, her, in that lady, uh, lady's district. Um, so you could get onto the ballot as a good party, but then mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, for, for the six months later in the November election, it would have to be a thing. So it kind of, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a politically savvy person. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a technologist, uh, um, but it may be an interesting avenue to actually try to take California because you could in some of these places really put a candidate on the ballot and kick out the red or blue depending on where, where you're going and, and, and make it a, a, a media event right there because people would be surprised that that white came in and took one you know um, and, and, and that would fuel maybe the, uh, the uh, um, accelerated uh, kind of attention for other other places and push other right in states over for the for the real elections because you probably wouldn't beat the guy the person who like this, mm -hmm. this lady. Mm -hmm who had like 93% of the vote or 95% of the vote or something in her district there, her challenges are very weak. So it's, it's to be determined how, how it plays out in different places. And one of the, one of the, one of the things that I'm sort of looking for and, and not, not an expert in right now are sort of political strategists and, and experts, mm -hmm. people who have been in the system, but are not uh, part of the system. You know, they're, they're kind of, you know, they're trying to do the best they can and disenfranchised by it, but uh, understand it really, really well. So I have to, I have to, you know, find somebody, somebody yet and some, some people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Help with that. <clears throat> All right. Uh, and then uh, the second, so I have three questions. Thank sure. you for the first one. Um, the second one is that you said that, uh, um, you know, um, person who serve as kind of a jury duty uh, as the representative need to uh, abide by the political will of people in that district. Um, but on the app, um, you show kind of a signaling of uh, positions on various issues. Um, now, QV or not, that, those were positions before the election uh, and those positions change. And, and, and so uh, is it a kind of continuous democracy right. kind of thing? Like they, they shaped conversations if people yes. managed to come on a uh, shared um, value despite their different initial positions, they, then they represent that instead of... Absolutely right. They, they, in mm -hmm. fact, somebody brought up a, an interesting uh, like corner case or maybe it not, who knows, but is that some really a strong minority, like let's say mm -hmm. religious fanatics against abortion, you know, mm -hmm. uh, really pile into the app in some district and they, it's not the will of the district, but it's this really, you know, uh, 
crazy minority that really pushes 98% uh, think, you know, we should, you know, do away with, uh, 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 you know, people's protective rights, you know, reproductive rights or whatever. Okay. So, the, you know, they push and they win and the good party candidate gets selected into, into, into represent that district. But what happens next is, of course, they get some media attention and say, oh, well, to my own surprise, I guess I didn't realize that, you know, I have to go like fight against abortion here, but that's, I guess, what I'm going to do. But now I see broadcast or she broadcast that, that, that statement. Um, lots of people say, what the hell are you talking about? How can you be doing this? And the answer is get an app, you know, and, and, and tell us what you think. And so the vocal crazy fanatics might get somebody elected, but all they're getting elected is somebody who's going to enact the will of the people. So as soon as the people come and change their will, that person changes their position. And that's, uh, that's the whole point here. You know, the idea is to be fluid and, and mm -hmm. uh, it, the, 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 it, it doesn't have the person is doesn't have a will they're just capable and credible you know and, mm -hmm. and honest sort of uh, representative uh they, they try mm -hmm. to do the best they can right that, that that's great um i ask because uh we've been heavily uh using a ai powered conversation um from a startup in seattle called polis it's open source uh that allows people to kind of uh puts their own more eclectic or more nuanced uh, opinions for other people to vote on so that they're not stuck with the original binary choices. And almost always uh, we see a um, shape uh, that is uh, exactly um, the consensus statements and the divisive statements. There's like five divisive statements on, the, on one side, but actually most people agree on most of the things. Uh, it's just those, the most divisive ones get all the attention. And so there's technology, once you get a continuous um, crowd uh, to kind of just get a, a common, um, the things that they're commonly considered good, despite their initial difference, polarized opinions. Right, the, the, I think Glenn also, uh, is it called P-O-L-L-I-S-T? Uh, P-O-L-I-S, so just like Polis. Oh, I see, okay. The, uh, the website is P-O-L.I-S. Mm -hmm. -L -S. Got it. I'm going to check that out for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think Glenn was saying something as well, which was a second order issue for me. The, the first order is get some people into office. But the second order was, it, you know, how can these good party people kind of form higher level uh, voting arrangements and blocks mm -hmm. where they could, uh, uh, um, um, uh, as you say, uh, sort of like become more powerful together uh, and form consensus, so this uh, is kind of places to that as well. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what I know. My, my question was just saying that you don't overcommit to your pre-voting. Uh, Not at all. There's no commitment to any, any of that's it. right. Yeah. That's right. Okay. So, so the third uh, question being, you mentioned uh, in slide six a uh, decentralization through blockchain of government functions. What mm -hmm. do you actually mean by that? Okay, so there's two parts of this. Well, so so what's going to happen is the first, you know, we start centralized because I can put this out in, within a, six months, you know, um, um, and start to iterate at the MVP and start to figure out what's working, what's not working, etc. Mm -hmm. And like I said, if I'm a crook and I think, forget about this stupid idea or whatever, it's it's not going to be what what I'm at least proposing here. But if I'm not that crook, uh, uh, and we put this together, my sense is that when we do get one percent, and maybe. 2020 maybe it's 2022 but when we do get that that moment of becoming coming on everyone's radar i hope it's not your recording going to everybody but whenever we get to the to the to that to that point right after that we're going to come under a very heavy attack uh, i would imagine from all sorts of different directions where people are trying to uh, um, influence this platform or take it over or or or, or, or push it into their own or for their own purposes um, the governance functions that are important here are how does the how does a good party uh, 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 how do, how, do, how do we select candidates you know and and how how is that uh, transparent to everybody so that uh, you know you can't you know put in a lobbyist as your candidate somehow or whatever else how do you uh, um, uh, 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 vote for issues like what's what's important and what's not and we're talking the quadratic voting or whatever voting scheme you have how does how do I know that my vote counted and uh, and and, the, and this was the answer? Uh, this is the will of the people here. Um, and then and 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 how do you how do you how do you really see if the if the the lower sort of the, the general will of the people is being manipulated in some way that is that is that is not actually the will of the people? And I have uh, some ideas around how to do that uh, around uh, um, sort of. Uh, 
independently polling people or pulling people into for one particular issue, taking a hundred a sample of a hundred people, what I call VIPs, volunteer information processors, um, asking them if they will be willing to spend uh, you know X amount of time, let's say a day, uh, um, uh, on just marijuana legalization, and here is all the information we have, and you see where that hundred people end up, and if there's a significant uh, discrepancy between that and um, and what the general will of the people was the one that anyone can contribute to, you know that there's a problem there and how does that get resolved. All of that should be decentralized in a way that cannot be messed with uh, because all of it will be tried to be messed with. But it won't be messed with initially. Like initially I should be so lucky that people care, you know, uh, because it's not gonna, it's obviously one in a million stupid ideas that are in the universe and who's, you can't try to, uh, you know, influence it. So by the time it becomes uh, interesting to, to people to hack, we better have a decentralization policy and be able to let it go. And that the most important point of the whole thing, and, and it should be built into it from the beginning, is it becomes let go into a, 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 a the universe in a way that uh, none of us uh, people that are associated with it can be corrupted by its power or fame, and uh, and, and and the system itself cannot be corrupted uh, uh, either. Um, and I was giving the example, it says, you know, Satoshi has to uh, be, you know, hidden or not known, mostly because he wants the first block, you know, he owns that thing and, and, and that's, that's the very thing. I don't want to own any block. <laughs> I don't know what I need, I don't, but I, don't, I, don't, I, I want to create and let it go and have it function uh, um, uh, well uh, everywhere. You know, if, and there's many places at local and state level in, 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 in the US uh, can use this as well and internationally. I mean, I'm Iranian, uh, um, uh, um, and so I know many different kinds of uh, the democracies that are uh, um, sort of uh, not uh, mock democracies everywhere can use an asset like this. So it should be decentralized and let go so that so that everyone can use it any which way they want. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not a um, this is a, a it's a public service. It's not a it's not a anything else. So does that make sense? Yes, uh, it, it answered for the resiliency and thank you for that. And I do agree that a good blockchain or as I prefer to call it distributed ledger um, yeah. technology is really good uh, for accountability, uh, not just transparency uh, and resiliency. Now, um, but uh, you also mentioned uh, that you want to from day one uh, to make it kind of a toolkit that other democracies can't use. Um, yeah. And so um, it, it I, I mean, there's um, always a, a, a tension uh, if you uh, start uh, proprietary uh, software development and, and you decide at some date or when some condition is satisfied to, to open source it. I've been through this many times. Um, and so I wonder why not uh, just open source on day one? Uh, yeah, and, no, no, that's not, that's not, I'm not a, 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 a it's, you know, it's only, we can all have it open source from day one. I just, the development is gonna be mostly centralized because there are gonna be a lot of people developing Sure, sure. Uh, of course, of course. I mean, you can have a policy that said, you know, I only accept pull requests from trusted people, like yeah. 50 of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. But, yeah, but, yeah. but developing in the open, uh, yeah. you know, shapes the dynamics such that, um, because there's, there's many examples. Uh, I, I talk with um, like French people, um, then people in Italy and so on, that if you start proprietary with a promise to open source, most of the time, either it doesn't happen. No, or, I, I, you know, or what, what's open source is a kind of diluted version of that. Yeah. Yeah, it, I think I, I, as, I was, as I was reshuffling this to try to put this um, marketing piece that I thought was very important here, I actually had the initial piece of it open source and then it just mm -hmm. got pushed that and the open source piece isn't important the the um um decentralized or, or uh, um uh, uh the decentralized pieces of it um are not maybe even mature enough right now to put in a a real distributed ledger solution in here so i was saying that that piece of it has to be done only when it's going to come under attack i think a lot of you know this um development around blockchain and some of the technology that people are building are building for hacking and anti etc but none of that is happening right now so no, like, no, no, all no. i was trying to say is initially you know if i'm cheating and i'm lying i'm trying to put my cousin into office okay so that's the system mm -hmm. but uh, that i'm not doing that but as soon as it 
comes under potential for real attack, it needs to be decentralized. The open source should not be there. The open source from the beginning, absolutely from the mm -hmm, beginning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, and so, yeah, of course, then uh, the debate will start on which uh, open source license to use. Uh, I'll just chime in my two cents. I always use Creative Commons Zero, uh, which is public domain, which is by definition compatible with all licenses anyway. Um, and this is because um, Taiwan's copyright code uh, already says any work, like if I start writing programs as part of my day job, it must be relinquished uh, out of the copyright uh, regime. Actually, the same for um, U.S. taxpayer-produced uh, products like the NASA imageries and, and things like that. Um, and so by kind of just position, you know, this is in the public domain on day one, uh, it saves lots of legal troubles um, afterwards. Uh, but of course, other people will argue otherwise, so this is just my two cents. Uh, no, I appreciate that. And uh, I, I really do uh, uh, appreciate. Uh, um, I know. I know you, we had only from nine till nine forty, so I appreciate going over mm -hmm. a little bit. I want to be uh, yes, uh, of your time. Mm -hmm. I. I, I I'm feel very fortunate that Glenn connected us on a little bit of your time. Uh, do you think that uh, I would be able to ping you from time to time to? Uh, oh, of course, of course. I mean, if you're if you're on GitHub or GitLab or whatever, uh, and you know, uh, list me as one of the VIPs that can comment and create pull requests. I, I actually, I, I'll I'll just jump into the development. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. yeah I, I still code day to day. Oh, fantastic! I appreciate that. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm in the place, a team, a place of setting up the team right now. I have, I'm liquidating some assets that were fortunate. I'm actually waiting for this uh, crazy Chinese company, ByteDance, to go public so I can take my uh, flippogram. Uh, I sold flippogram to them. Uh, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm aware right. of that. Yeah. So um, mm -hmm. I, 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 but I'm that's going to be in a little bit. So so I'm I'm liquidating assets right now to mm -hmm. be able to put together enough of a mm -hmm. um, the, the beginning piece of this so mm -hmm. that uh, it can have funding and pull the people into mm -hmm. it. So uh, um, uh, it's not uh, 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 at that stage yet where I can uh, uh, put you there. But I really appreciate mm -hmm. uh, uh, that, that that you're offering to take a look and and I contribute mm -hmm. it would be really uh, an honor to to to, to get mm -hmm. uh, help from you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Sure thing. So yeah, let's connect um, online. And um, if I uh, actually, are, are you based in LA full time now? I'm in Los Angeles full time. Yeah. Uh, but I, okay. Well, you're mm -hmm. not going to go to Detroit, I heard, uh, for this radical thing. Uh, not, this not, 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 not by that date, actually. But maybe by the end of April, uh, I, I might actually visit Detroit. This is still uh, being arranged. So maybe, uh, yeah, let, let's just connect over email. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And if you're if you're in Los Angeles, of course, mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I would love to I'd love to take dinner and lunch. And anything, you know, so if you mm -hmm. think, thank you so much. Alrighty. Thank you so much, and send me the recording. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Thank you.